Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm in a Lumens Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. How are you today? So today I have several things to talk to you about as usual. Uh, I don't want to confuse everyone with the topics I cover, but we are going into an energy and we're still in January here. And there is going to be this uh, energy which is really making people feel weird. I know that's not what you want to hear because there's a lot of talk about how this is the year of togetherness. But in order to keep you together, there are things that happen with your body. There's your channels that need to open. There are absolutely new parts that weren't even in place until last year of 2017. So these whole past five or six years, and sometimes it's longer for other people, someone wrote and said, hey, Patricia, what about 2011? Well, sure. Well, for me, what about 2003? What about 2006? What about 1996? What about 1987? So there have been key markers in the timelines for by which things are supposed to happen. So there are actually what I call deadlines in the sky for things to happen by. It is a natural thing that we are preparing here for. So yes, so that people can not only be together, keep it together, create together, create the third energy. And it's not going to be in the lower chakras or the lower dimensions anymore. So for the most part, you're going to find that the third dimension is completely closed off. That's a good thing. In fact, the third dimension isn't so bad because at least you know where you stand. It's just survival. It's survival of the fittest. It's the fourth dimension with all the gray areas that really throws people off. Now, some of the hallmarks of that will have to do with this deep, divine masculine deep release. This is such a deep release that it will affect the tissues of the body. It's going to affect parts of the heart, the circulatory system, the spleen, and especially the kidneys. So you want to pay attention to your health in those areas. But again, this is about the tissues. And again, there's two people. So part of the being together really boils down to what are the deal breakers or what would the things that um, would push you apart or what are the things in the past that have actually kept you apart? Do you want to be each other's uh, caretaker? Do you want to be each other's babysitter? Do you want to be someone's mama or someone's daddy? Maybe not. That's not what you're intended for this union, even though you are all things to each other. It's not intended to include those carryovers of relationship patterns. And that's a little tough for some people to swallow because it might be part of your comfort zone. It might be a very comfortable thing for you to always be the one who's taking care. But here's where it breaks down is that does tax the heart and people will wind up with things like a heartache or a heart condition. Um, it can affect your circulatory system and your blood pressure. It can affect your spleen in the sense of the sweetness of your union. The spleen is a part of you that is actually intended to have a different structure. The spleen and the circulatory go together, okay? And now you don't have to know all the biology of it. I just want to let you know that when you're going through weird physical symptoms, things that feel physical, you can't ignore it. And there's another thing to know about 2019. The bar is being raised so that everybody starts taking proper care of themselves without it being a crisis. Why does it have to be a crisis that send people to the doctor? And then they're completely trying to overhaul their life. So this is a new life. And I'm here to help you with this, to help you through these transitions. Why? Because there are huge episodes of karma, karmic situations, but on a grand scale. We're talking about the things uh, such as in our recent history, we're talking about wars. We're talking about the triangle trade. We're talking about how commerce has been done. 
We're talking about um, trafficking. We're talking about what the actual effects are that, you know, happen and how it makes people sick. So entire episodes. So you can take a um, event like World War I, okay, or we call it the First World War here, pretty much starting in, I think, in the 1900s around, I think it ended in 1918, involved many countries, but it started with one hothead, one hothead who decided they were going to take matters into their own hands. Next thing you know, you have this conflagration all over with all kinds of people getting involved, all kinds of young people being caught up in it and not living out their life. Now, these are past lives that sometimes you come back into the next life. When you come in the next life, you start processing this stuff. And this is where sometimes what happens with the body is not actually based in current life. It's actually based in another place. The cause of it is somewhere else. The removal of it, then you got to get better. So you are compressing years of stuff, years of episodes into simply months of time. That's intense. What about pain management? A lot of people do need proper pain management. They will self-medicate. They will go for meds. Uh, now you can get prescribed meds. Now there's a more gentler, more managed approach. But what do you do if this has been something for you for years and something inside you is nagging you saying, I really need to stop this. I really need to quit this. Or I think I'm starting to be allergic. And this will include drinking, drugs, smoking, all kinds of stuff. I talk to people all over the world and there's all kinds of stuff out there because all kinds of cultures have stuff. This is a this is going to die out for twin flame couples and there will be not only a massive detox of the tissues of the body, but it is a an emotional massive detox, okay? Have you been feeling malaise? Have you been feeling just loss, a sense of loss? Have you felt like there's a breakup? Have you had heart chest pain? Have you had issues around here, including your sinuses? Are you having any pains here? Are you having anything that feels like it's making you tense? If you have any of those, your body's starting to seize up and it's start, time to take it seriously. You're not intended to really get more dire. It's like a wake-up call, okay? It's a part of the body waking up so that the tissues of the body can become healthy because you're not going into your physical union in an unhealthy state. You're going to be more connected with each other. So those areas are clearing for a reason, okay? So just like I spoke about in my other video, where these things, you know, you well up, you feel stuff here. So I would recommend to everyone, please get some extra vitamin C. Okay, so I have some recommendations here to show you. Okay, just so you know. Vitamin C. Get some extra vitamin C in your diet. I understand there's a certain percentage of people, again, you have to know your body and know if you can or you cannot. Potassium. Potassium works with your circulatory system. Now, this works with other things, too. Are you having salt cravings? If you have lead cramps that go with it, you might need potassium. Now, this is what my background is in. My background is in biology. That's what I studied at university. But I've taken a step further because I am the metaphysician. I am the person that bridges between the physical and the metaphysical to help you. I don't want you to ignore your medical appointments or your medical needs. Um, but nor is, you know, not everything is physical. Sometimes it's metaphysical. If you have these, you know, aches, pains, pokes here around here, what does that mean for you? Well, it's going to mean several things. Um, one other thing to mention to you, okay, a lot of people do actually like garlic. Put some garlic in your diet. Put some ginger in your garlic. So vitamin C, garlic, ginger. Ginger has a lot of magnesium. Garlic has a lot of iron. These are both 
very heart healthy. Okay. Another thing you may not be aware of is your body's need for protein. So when we're talking about the tissues of the body, it's hard to actually eat the amount of protein that you might actually need and not go into depletion mode, especially if you're healing episodes of karma. What if you've lived through a famine or what if you didn't live through that famine? What if you were at war and you became so nutritionally deprived it affected you for the rest of your life? Your body remembers these things. And so you need to build up. So on my store, which is at um, twinflamebody.com, I'm going to write that down. You can get some of the things I am approved with um, now foods. This is one of the things that I recommend. This is actually very good. This has 24 grams of protein. Uh, this is pea protein. It's very suitable for people that are vegan. Um, for people, maybe if you have children, you want to sneak a little in. I'm going to tinker around, around with baking with it a bit. And it's, um, it's a good, very good one. I found this to be very appealing. So if you've never really seen what these look like, let me just show you. It's a, it's a powder, okay? You can add it to any liquid. When it's neutral like this, meaning it's not pre-flavored, it's not sweetened, okay? It's pure unflavored, 24 grams of protein. There's no soy, no dairy, no gluten. You can actually, and this is actually very high quality. This is from the sport level brand. So this is suitable for people that are um, both highly athletic and people that are recovering, say, from surgeries or something like that. That's another thing to know is that for people that feel like, you know, they're maybe not athletic, you may find that a boost of protein actually does help you. How do you know? Watch if you have cravings. If you're craving extra food, especially if you're craving carbs, get some protein. You can get something like this. Something this simple can even be mixed with a broth or a soup. I'm not sure if it will be very appealing to you because I like mine mixed up like this, like smoothie. Okay? That's what I like. And you can, but you can put it with any liquid. Now, there are a couple of other things I have here to help you. I have a webinar. It's on January 20th. It's part two for you. Uh, it's covering aspects of Twin Flame Ascension. This one is spiritual intensity. I'm going to be talking about these areas. You can join that. And I have a pre-recorded webinar, The Human Body in Transition, because your human body will go through things just like your angel body is going through things. And it kind of takes turns and you two take turns with each other. Okay, so this is a misconcept also that your twin is sometimes going at the same speed as you are. Sometimes your twin is advancing and you advance then. Sometimes you advance and then your twin. But it's not a race. You're both going to get to your convergence point. So what I cover in this is the circulatory system and the organs, the reproductive, which is a factor for people, okay, have you noticed how your menstrual cycles are starting to change? And there's a reason for it. Men, have you noticed that you've been having emotional cycles? Okay, this is part of the getting together. Okay, but there's a thing to know about it. You're not intended to have the worst parts of it. So there is a transition period. That's why I call it the human body in transition. You're going through a patch of time and yet it's going to last months. If you ignore it, it's going to take you longer. It just simply will take you longer. That's not a threat. That's just what I've seen. I've seen people do it. I'm all about, let's get it done. Let's get it done the fastest way we can. Let's find out what to do. Let's simplify it. Let's get the things that we need to get going. Because your body is new and your connections with each other, there are new ones that you're not going to find in ancient history because it's new. Your brow chakra and your sensory areas that you share, you have shared areas. Do you really know what true heart communication is? It's not some of the singing that you hear out there on videos. That's not to criticize people. Those people are 
expressing from their heart. So it is a form of heart communication. But twin flame heart communication is vastly different than that. It's nonverbal, for one thing. It's just nonverbal. It's uh, other people can't hear it. So the, there are sensory areas only you share with each other, okay? And all of my webinars are about love. And this one is uh, about creating the material comfort. Your body is a part of that. The two bodies that you have, your human and your angelic body, which are integrating. And if you're not sure, during my causal body session, we get your energies moving so that you can transcend and rise above your past. Not the past of these whole episodes. There's still going to be people processing this war and that famine and that diaspora and that enslavement and that bad marriage. Um, there will still be people doing that for years to come. You don't want to be uh, in that because the people I'm talking to, like you're in these waves that are moving forward. Some people have not awakened yet, but they will this year. And again, it's not a race. It's not who gets to the finish line first. It's about coming together. It's about being lovers. And it's about being friendly to each other. It's about true harmony and a true coexistence where whatever people are doing, unless it's really nasty and it's, you know, hurting some animals and kids or other people, um, we're not here to tolerate those things. And there's ways that your body has that I outline in my webinar so that you, it takes a lot of the guesswork out of it. You're not spending so much mental energy and you're not running around like a chicken saying, what's happening, what's happening, what's happening. Come and join, come and get some of the concrete information that will help you to know what to do. But not only that, I'm all about empowerment. I'm about empowering people so that they feel confident with who they are. Because there's always times that we can't accept what's going on. We don't want to accept it. We don't like it. It's busting us out of our comfort zone. It's something that, you know, in the moment, we're not sure what the future holds. That's a lot of what people struggle with. And you'll be struggling with this month where you're saying, is this like, what did I do all this for? Is this it? Um, you might be saying to yourself, where is it? You came with it inside you. You came with it, the love inside you. You came with your love connections. There is a massive disentangling going on, which includes an emotional massive detox. Okay. And just this is just one of the emotions that people feel with it. So let me just. So if you want some help with the things that you're going through, join my online webinar here, the 20th. You're going to get quite a bit out of it. I'm on part two, but let me show you the topics that we covered and just let you know. Um, I have information on my website at twinflamesmerge.com. We talk about anxiety, getting clarity and clear the heart, kidney, adrenals. We talk about sleeping. Sleeping, uh, that was uh, something I covered in part one. And sleeping and learning to inflame breath. You have a new body, use it. You have a new body, time to learn a few things about it. Time to get it up and running. Time to get things integrated. Time to get it a part of your new life. You have a new life and that's a blessing. That's something that a lot of people never thought they would ever have. You're not just a second chance. You have an entirely new life, not a lifestyle, a life. So learn how to keep the love in, keep the world out. At I have a Shopify store where you're able to uh, get these items here. And I will be uh, available at twinflamebody.com. 
twinflamesmerge.com. Email me at twinflamesmerge at gmail.com. So thank you to everyone who has joined. One other thing to mention is that my two books are out, okay? There is Twin Flame Body, I'm sorry, Twin Flame, uh, Your Subtle Body Connections. This is book one that starts to explain about it to you. It's not intended to be a mystery, but it is very new. And then book two is Twin Flame Ascension and Breath. Okay. And this is intended, this has quite a bit of information on clearing, maintaining, getting yourself up and running, the things to do. Self-care for your new body. You have a new body. In the beginning, it's like anything that's new. You have to take the time and you have to make the effort to learn it. And I know a lot of people will say things like, oh, I've been doing this for 20 years. Some of the stuff maybe based in ancient times and because the great big leveler happened last year in July where the brand new connections were just being made available. So I'm sorry if you've been waiting for 20 years, but your time is here. If you've just become aware of this in the past few months or the past year, nobody's going to be late for this. It is has been a matter of timing. And like I say, there are times for things to have happened by. Please remember the love. Please remember how love really is, how you want it to be, how it's supposed to be. You may not have had that. You may just be getting a taste of how it's supposed to be. Okay? And these parts of you are getting clear. The tissues of your body are clearing things out. And... That's going to include very important parts where you connect to each other. So thanks so much for watching. It's been um, a lot of things that I have learned over the years that I've put into this to make it as concise and simple for you as possible. Please learn from me. 2018 was uh, part of a pretty big learning curve. A lot of you are going to be going through what I went through in 2018. And not everyone is going to have that information. This is about transcending and rising above your past and getting yourself as smoothly through your transition as possible to get you into physical union. Union doesn't equal physical, but unifying does bring you to the physical union. I hope that makes that a bit clearer to people. Because I know a lot of people are upset and people have been trumpeting it out there of like, this is, you know, something that um, you're entitled to. The bottom line is, yes, you're entitled to it. You signed on for it. You're here. You're in agreement with it. Now you're being brought into alignment, harmony, and upliftment with it. So it's time for those upgrades. It's time to learn about it. And it's time to come and join something that encompasses quite a bit of the information to take the mystery out of it for you. Thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. I will be back with more. The links are below or write to me. Thank you. Bye.